Alright, so I'm pretty much going to just kind of get into it. Um, we're just doing the Dark Souls bow run only playthrough today. Um, my plan is to finish it today, because there's really only one boss left to do. Um, we just need to do the Soul of Cinder. Um, that shouldn't take too long. I've got four hours for the stream slot, but honestly, I'll keep going until I beat it. If we beat it early, somehow... We'll just go on near Automata and uh, continue on that playthrough. But um, let's get uh, let's get this game started. All right. All righty. Yep, just the one boss. That is all I have left. I did do some grinding uh, off stream. All with the bow, of course. I didn't, you know, cheat and go off to some other bow or some other weapon. Because this is a genuine bow only playthrough. But um, basically, what I did was very unentertaining to do on stream. Essentially, uh, I grinded to get the composite bow. Hello, Mohammed. How you doing today? Um, I grinded to get the composite bow uh, up to uh, level ten. We I did that off stream. Um, I was able to successfully find six titanite, large titanite, titanite chunks, and one titanite slab to make this bow level ten. I also leveled myself up like five or six levels uh, just to get myself up to the level required for the composite bow to work really. Um, Yeah, just just the one more left. Um, I'll be doing. I don't, I'm sure. I'm not sure how long it's going to take me, take me to beat, but it, um, I don't intend to to stop streaming until I do beat him. Um, just just the soul sender. Uh, I did find a bone shard and a um, estus shard. Um, so my estus is plus nine, and I now have ten estus shards instead of nine. Sorry. 10, nine, 10 Estus flasks instead of 9 Estus flasks. So I have one more. 
Also, my SS5 for plus nine. I did re-up my um, heavy arrows. So we should be good to get started here. Through three into strength and two or three into um, stamina. So not too much of a buff I gave myself from soul grinding. I only soul grinded like one or two hours a day between the last Dark Souls stream. Um, I do need to get back to the controls because I'm used to near Automata and Final Fantasy controls. Um, but it shouldn't take me too long because I did grind a little bit today. But we're just going to get right into it. Ah, better damage, I think, than last time, if I can remember properly. Ooh, I must dodge that. Ooh, I missed. I missed again. There we go. Oh crap, that's gonna put me aerial. Shit. Now it's time for my least favorite phase of his. I have oh, in window now. Oh, that's oh, I thought he was gonna do that on himself. Nope, nope, that's still not. Rolled right through my goddamn arrow. I. There we go. Uh, of course. Shit. I have to get used to his spear, Rusa. I haven't seen that one too often. You love that version of yourself, don't you, buddy? From what I've seen from other bow only runs, unlike the other bosses in this game, it's actually pretty good to keep your distance from Soul of Cinder. So I have to kind of reteach myself how to take him on, because all the other bosses recently have been playing a very up close strategy. Which I think may have been messing me up against Soul of Cinder. I'm already doing, I don't know what it is, probably just coming back after a really long break. But I'm actually doing pretty decently against him right now. I also did buff myself though, so that's that's definitely helpful. Oh shit, I can't dodge that. I can definitely heal though in time. Or not, it's cool. Yeah, you know, we'll see how the second phase goes. Um, it's it's definitely doable. Oh, soul beam, fuck. Just mash B, baby. The perfect strat. I should probably aim for this phase. Nope, doesn't help. Perfect. get drinking though. I thought I dodged. Oh 
Oh, come on. We got it. Okay. I have one SS flask for phase two. Wish me luck. God, the Gwyn theme though, right? Beautiful. His roll though, that's, that's killer. Alright, that's my last SS flask. Ah, oh, I dodged too early. shot too late damn well that's the, <laughs> that's the best I've done so far um, let's just give it another shot I'm pretty confident depending on how soon it's depending on how soon we beat this uh, but that was a pretty so that's the best run so far That's the first time I actually ever got him to second phase. At least as this in this run. I missed both of the good important shots. Damn. Yeah, it keeps slow walking at me. I love it when the bosses do that. Ah the recovery takes so goddamn long. I gotta time my dodge is way better. Stamina back up. I thought I dodged that. Fortunately, not. Of stamina. Give me those. Double spin though. Fuck. Now he's wrecking my butt. I didn't know you triple, okay. Sell down there, pal.
Woo! This ain't good. Throws poison now. He's really good at rolling in this f version of himself. Ah, uh, it's regular sword version. I need stamina. That's luck. That was all luck right there. Oh, I thought I dodged that. Apparently not. Fuck me. Should I ember? Should I ember? I'll ember, I got five. I gotta one try this though. Well, oh, the odds are not looking in my favor now. <laughs> nope, I'm in the fucking juggle. Shit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that was stupid. We're doing way better than we did last time, though. We got into second phase twice in a row. Which did not happen last time. This is actually the first time you've ever gotten into the second phase, which is surprising. Let me get that off. It's a waste of my space if there's something in there. What the hell? There we go. I don't think the first arrow does damage to him. No, it doesn't. That's so stupid. There we go. That's a decent headshot. <laughs> yeah. As soon as I was in that juggle, I thought it was over. That juggle is no joke. Aw, oh, that- I got the tail end of that shit. I got a drink. I gotta find a window. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Okay, that's a lot of magic power, bro. How the hell did that miss? What? Miss. I don't know how you're supposed to dodge that second one. Guy's stupid spells. Oh, I dodge into that miss. What the hell? Nah. Oh well. That was a bad one anyway.
just gonna keep on trying. It's clearly possible. I mean, I shouldn't have a problem once I get everything down. It's just, I'm not really uh, good at dodging his attacks at the moment. This hitbox is so tiny. I just gotta get rid of his spells first. Missed that one. Okay, you can't roll dodge that attack. Or any of his attacks, really, it seems. Okay. Don't you heal, you little baby. He's still healing. Stamina. Leave me alone, bro. Those stupid spells of his, dude. I hate those things. Crap. It would have been way different if he didn't heal. It's really cool when bosses heal. I love it. Still doing fine on uh, arrows, I think. Yeah, I should be okay for a few more attempts. Hopefully, I don't have to grind for too long for souls, but we may have to. Depending on how these runs go. We will actually Ember for this one, though. Come on, get your bow out. There we go. What the heck, missed? Hmm. 
I get hit by that fucking slash. Crap, I'm running out of stamina. Crap. I hate this face of his because it's always accompanied with spells, it seems. He also rolls. Good. Now we're out of that phase. I hate that phase so much. Hmm. Nah. I'm gonna say no to that one, pal. And that one, too. Could you stop? What the fuck? I was rolling through that. Let's just go again. I'm gonna keep on going until uh, until I beat him. I'm not gonna stop the stream until I beat him. these two. So stupid that a slow ass walk is enough to not get hit by an arrow. The dude walks at like half a mile an hour to the left or right, and it's enough to dodge an arrow. I hate this. I hate this phase of his. He gets spells and insane movability. And he rolls. His phase should just be solved by just running the hell away the entire time. Yeah, he'll roll through anything. Yeah, that phase is. 
that phase is probably just going to be a runaway dur during the whole thing. I'm not sure how you intended to dodge those. Mm -mm. I don't. I want to know how that happened. I could get a headshot. All right, hope is not lost. I just really don't want to be at this point in the field. The dodge, dude. Oh, you just run for this. Just run. Cool. Okay. Drink, don't dodge at me. Thank you. Whew. Ah, uh, I thought he was gonna throw up in the air. Let me just run around. Uh, okay. I don't have any hitting blessings, do I? I do! I have one! I have to wait for him to do a combo, though.
Okay, okay. I think we got it, but <laughs> probably just jinxed myself there. Dude, no. Ah, oh, I used a hidden blessing on that one too. Shit. Oh well. It's possible. We can do it. I'm I'm getting there. I got sloppy at the end, that's on me. I accidentally shot an arrow. <laughs> Uh, yeah, why not? Let's use a number. I'll take that as a win. I don't know about that one though. No, I pressed B for that one. There's my stored roll though. Thanks from Soft for that mechanic. That's a that's bullshit. Right, this version can actually go f fuck off. Just, just book it for this phase. It's so annoying. Swap off of that bullshit fucking version of yourself. I canceled my my arrow there though with a the dodge, but didn't come out. Sweet. Sweet. Oh, we're gonna save our ember. They use X Machina device. We only have one more left. Unfortunate. Actually. I'm running out of arrows.
It'll always roll, it's not randomized or any bullshit like that. That's why I say just run during this phase. There's no fucking point. He'll roll through your arrows and then just rush you down. As a bow run, it's fucking pointless to play against this version of him. Just keep on running until he swaps to his spear. Yeah, see. He'll just run. Th He'll roll through anything you throw at him. Alright, now we're on the spear version, which is a little bit less BS, but still kind of annoying with this double spin attack. That's not good. That's a nice, nice tracking attack, apparently. No. Okay, of course he's gonna swap directly to that version of him. I rolled, I didn't run. I don't know I care. I do not know why he started running. I pressed B now, I did not help and not hold it. I rolled. I rolled. Okay, good another zero souls. There's just there's no there's no point in engaging with this version of the soul cinder. You don't get anything out of it. I don't know about that one. Really? Really? Wow. That's... No, we're resetting. That's... That's death for, uh, for a bow-only build. As soon as he heals up, there's no point.
You can't act. The, the bow cannot out damage his healing. Once he heals up, he's got regenerating healing. And once it activates, you cannot out, out damage the heal, unfortunately. So that's, that's a GG. Go next. You cannot let him heal. Otherwise, there's no point in playing against him because you'll never be able to out damage the healing. Not once, not ever. His attacks fuck with me so much. That went right. You could see it went right through him. Sure, pal. You can do whatever you want. You're the soul sender, bro. You can do whatever you want. Fuck me, dude. I can absolutely fucking dumpster this boss on any other build, but the bow is just absolutely ruining me. No bosses give me more trouble than this boss and the Twin Princes. I don't know what it is, but the last two bosses absolutely annihilate me. Like, you know, Abyss Watchers was hard, but once I got it down, Deacons of the Deep was hard, but eventually I figured out a strat that was easy. Now, Twin Princes and this boss are just basically go screw yourself levels of BS sometimes. No clue how I got out of that one. Mm-hmm, yeah. Nope, I dodged. <sighs> oh, Lord. Nice, we gotta heal. We gotta heal, ladies and gentlemen. And a double spin that you can't dodge.
Alright, I'm just gonna GG go next on this one. There's no point. Go again. There you go, bad. I can't beat him on that run. As soon as he heals, it fucking ruins me. The second he heals, it's over. Oops, I was off menu. That's my bad. That's my bad. I just had to check something and it realized he was going to turn hard left. What the fuck? Dodge that one pretty easily, actually. Now we just book it from him. There's no point playing against this phase. Because he is just hard anti bow phase, basically. Just wait for him to switch to the spear version of himself. There's genuinely zero point in facing off against this version of him. Now it's possible. I don't know why he shot. I, didn't, I don't know. Did my character shoot after he rolled there? I couldn't. I couldn't quite tell because he's underneath a, a hill. But it looked like he shot for some reason. I didn't press RT. I don't think. That's weird. 51 heavy arrows. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a fucking wonderful stream. I didn't press RT. I don't know. Why is he writing up another shot?
finally swaps off that phase. Jesus. Yeah, I forgot not to dodge roll during that. It's way too long of an attack. You can't actually dodge it. You can't dodge through it or dodge away from it. Dude, can you not? Go to the f soul center's a little fucking baby. Needs to actually heal. I was literally in mid-roll during that and it actually connected somehow. <laughs> okay. Nah, B. Nope. I double pressed B to heal there, but it healed once, so I had to press it again, which made it take longer. He's actually... Fuck, just fucking kill me. Yep, thank you. What the fuck, dude? Double heal. Double heal. That's fucking stupid, dude. I cannot actually out-damage his healing, and he heals twice. Back up to where he healed before. All that work negated. Except I lose like four or five Estus Flasks during that period of time, and he gets all his health back. Why the fuck would you make a healing boss? I don't even think I'm going to be able to beat him. I don't have enough arrows. I rolled. I was rolling. <laughs> yeah. Neat. Yay. <laughs> All right, we need to we need to do it. Come on, come on. There he goes. All right, we need to we need to get uh we need to get souls because uh, we need more arrows because uh, this boss is kind of bullshit with a bow. Basically, what I've learned from doing the bow only run is that when from stuff made Dark Souls three, they said <laughs> said oh you want to do an literally anything other than sword and shield? Well. Go fuck yourself, basically, is what they said. <laughs> They've made this fucking video game. And you're like, but I want to play with a bow. But I want to play with sorceries. But I want to play with faith. But I want to play with pyromancy. And they go like, yeah, uh, but also go screw. Um, it's because it's funny that a build, like, a bow-only build can actually be categorized as a challenge run because they legit make everything other than sword and shield absolutely unplayable against bosses, which is fucking annoying because everything in this game is so fucking quick you can't they didn't like they made the bosses faster but they didn't make the cast time or 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 draw speed of weapons any faster in tandem with that
Dude, come on, give up. Thank you. Shit. <sighs> yeah, if you're running sword and shield or just like sword, you're fine. The game's gonna treat you like you're a goddamn king. The second you decide to do any, basically any other uh, class that they have set up for you, it's you're you're in for an uphill battle, dude. I don't want to do this on stream, but unfortunately, it looks like I have to. I'm legit trying to roll, but the camera's absolutely ruining my day. Sure. I was in mid roll? Hmm. I don't know about that one, Chief. Back to the Firelink Shrine. Cause I don't, I don't, even, ha I don't even have enough arrows <laughs> to defeat a Silver Knight at this point. I think they really should put into uh, uh, playing this with a bow and only run. After this is my first time playing something that wasn't Sword and Shield or 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 just Sword build. Uh, they probably could have put more thought into people who aren't playing that because they don't again they and you know bloodborne definitely has an impact on how much they change the speed of dark souls 3 because dark souls 3 is a noticeably faster game than uh one and two uh but they didn't adjust your character um to make it make up for that speed. Now, it doesn't matter too much when you're playing with a, a sword and shield or a regular sword or even like with a great sword. Um, but the second you decide to do something like a bow run or I wanna play with sorceries or I wanna play with pyromancies, 
it's not designed for that. They did not take into account those kind of playstyles. So you're kind of stuffed if you want to play anything other than sword and shield or regular sword builds, because you're just they they didn't make or adjust the game around that it seems, which is something I um I finally learned about this game, which yeah kind of makes sense why some people were a bit bit pissy when the game came out um, about some things. I kind of get it now. They really should have. If you're gonna speed up your attacks as well as the enemy attacks, but you're not going to adjust spells and bows. The spells and bows are uh, really, really weak in this game, which is kind of unfair. Which I mean, I knew I was signing up for it. I mean, it's listed, it's listed as a challenge run, but Jesus, I was not expecting this level of, of absurdity. Uh, where the hell are my arrows? Did I not buy? Oh my fucking god! I bought feather. I bought a shit ton of feather arrows, I guess. Or what the what the, f what the shit did I buy? Am I losing my mind? I think I just bought a shit ton of feather arrows. I bought a cr I bought a shit ton of wood arrows. Cool. I guess we have to. Um, I guess we gotta farm more souls. <laughs> Yay! I want this to be done so bad. I'm so ready. The bright side, I'm not using any arrows I would be using against them. Against the Soul Cinder.
we're almost at the amount of souls we need. Maybe two or three attempts. Just finished off this piece of shit. There we go. Oh my god. What a headache. That's good. That's really lucky. That's that was all luck though. I'm not gonna pretend like it was any skill. The game the game just kinda decides when you lock on if it's gonna headshot or not. Let's go back to the Firelink Shrine again and uh, sell our garbage and get more arrows. I need to sell my crap. I, I don't want to talk to her. Okay, let's try this one again. Can't go much worse than it already has. <laughs> oh shit. The only, the only real utility I've been able to find with a bow outside of this build is just like grabbing aggro off of enemies. That sailed right over his head. That sucks. I think he was gonna launch that far.
stored roll. I hate that mechanic. Now he actually swapped. That was the longest I've ever had him on that ability. That's really where he's going to throw it at me. Damn it. Stop doing the same attack, bro. I would appreciate if you didn't spam the same attack. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, it's just, the Soul of Cinder, by the way, does not need a healing ability. It's not something that he really genuinely needs. I think the Soul of Cinder can do without a healing ability. It's not fuck. It's so fucking. Every time I engage with him, it's. I always feel like I wasted my entire fucking time. what happened ah <laughs> oh, fuck me dude fuck me I keep on trying because I'm absolutely insane Hitbox on that sword is insane. I've never actually seen a swap from the first phase to this phase. Now, at this point, there's no point. We just run. I 
I was pressing the B button. Oh, I thought I was going to get a full draw there. I press B. Oh, man. Yep. As predicted. What a pussy. P though, cool dog. No point, basically no point in attempting that one. Definitely far enough away for that attack. It's so hard to tell what attacks are a triple, a single, or a double. It's very hard to tell. I'm, I'm gonna reset this one. I just, I fucking can't do it. Come on, soul. Thank you. Oh my god. I'm resetting on that one. Very, very unhappy with how that one went. Very unhappy with how that one went. Gotcha. Dude, thank you. Uh, why am I stuck in it? Why am I stuck in it? What the hell? 
We're resetting him. We're resetting. I'm not. I'm not. Nope, we're resetting. We are resetting that one. I can't afford to have a bad start with this boss fight because it goes on too way too fucking long. Alright. I've been attempting for an hour and uh, fucking half now. Oh my god. I cannot wait for this to be over. And again, we just run. Clip it when I'm done? I don't even know how to clip it. Oh my god. I'm, I'm dead. That's it. Yep. The fucking... The homing... The homing beacons. Whatever the fuck they're called. The, they're fucking insane. I... You give this character, th th because the problem is this phase almost always comes after the mage phase. So he's booking it at you at full speed with an attack that you cannot dodge both attacks he does. At the same time, there are like five or six spells flying at you. <laughs> so if you don't have full health for that phase, you're done. It's over. GG. Yeah, I think my first uh, my first phase kill was a total fucking fluke because now I can't even get past the first phase. I haven't seen the first phase for about a fucking hour. <laughs> this guy is ridiculous. We drink here, and then we just run. You just run. There's no. There's genuinely no point in fighting this phase. No fucking point. Just fire your 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 BS spells at me, dude. Come on. Don't don't play with my. Don't play with me. Come on. All right. Cool. Now we can drink. Please swap. There we go. Now it's doable. Or not, I think it's B. And he double spin the spear attack. Oh my god. You can't you you can't roll his double hit. It's too it's it's faster than the Dark Souls 3 roll. This double roll is not as fast as his double hit so and you can't punish it so there's no point in being near him so you just book it for the entire phase because otherwise you just you, you, you'll take more damage trying to dodge him up close than you would running away at least in my experience My 
I, I rolled that. I rolled that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hate the stored roll too. I could either take damage from one thing or the other. Either way, I was taking damage. Yeah, he all, this phase will also in, insta roll your uh, your arrows, so there's no point in shooting at him either. This entire phase is impossible to do damage with if you're playing a range build. You cannot damage this this phase of him in, with range. Dude, it's... Okay, we're on... What was that? Four or five? <laughs> you can't tell how many he's gonna attempt. Shit, that uses MP. Of course it does, it's weapon art. No. Nope. This isn't the run. All oh, right, it's this phase. Just book it. Yeah, there's the sp the double Beyblade spin.
We'll try it. Nope. What? The, that should not have hit me though. I dodged that for sure. I dodged. I, for some reason, the game says I don't dodge that attack. Come on, dude. Why the fuck are you doing this to me? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, dude. It's just a relentless assault with him, and it does not bode well for me. A constant relentless assault by this fucking jackass. And I'm out of embers, so let's get this the fuck out of my inventory. Oh my god, the hitbox on your sword, dude, is insane! Hit, kill me, kill me, it's over. That's a dead run. That's a dead run. That much health, that little amount of health taken out, and I'm already at no HP, it's it's a dead run. I'm not, I'm not doing that one. We're trying another one. One that doesn't uh, suck ass. I'm so pissed off. I got so close to beating him my first goddamn try. Now, I'm, now for some reason I'm stuck here at the first phase all over again.
There he goes, rolling right through it. I'm not even touching it, and it's counting as a hit. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't. I, I'm fucking lost. I, I'm... I genuinely can't think of any more strategies than the ones I've already employed. Ah, fuck me. I'm at my wit's end with this bullshit. Genuinely at my wit's end with this. Give it one more attempt, then I'm gonna take a quick break. The recovery time after shooting is insane. I've shot a bow before. Many, many times. And it does not take me three seconds to fucking draw and shoot. Oh my god. Like, look how much damage that barrage does. And I don't have a small amount of health for this game. I have a pretty fat health bar. That would melt anyone who doesn't invest in Vigor. Legit rolled through that, and I rolled. Through. All right, we're taking a quick. Break.
I mean, I guess we just keep on going until we can't fucking think anymore. I mean, I've probably killed this boss like three dozen times. I do not remember having him this, this many fucking insane abilities. Yep, I saw that one coming. There's legit, like, almost... There's almost no openings. I'm... I'm... I don't... I was mashing the fuck... We're, we're, we're resetting. Fucking Christ. I cannot believe this fucking boss. It pisses me off to no fucking end. Like, what, what can I possibly fucking do that I haven't already? Okay, so the composite bow did 168 close range with a heavy arrow. Let's see how much the short bow does. And apparently, the composite bow specializes in close range shots. We'll fucking check that. Are you kidding me? Alright, we're just gonna use the starter the starter bow then. There comes the hit. There it goes. Yay! <laughs> you can't help but fucking laugh. <laughs> I'm losing my goddamn mind. Heavy arrows. I get that it's only like three more damage, but the fact that the composite arrow is listed in the item description as a like close range bow, but still does less damage is insane. His follow-ups are absolutely ridiculous. Did he drink, dude? I was mashing X while he was doing a spin attack with a, with a sword spell 
and it didn't come out until then. Nope, you don't get to hang out around me, dude. Fuck off. Watch. Here comes the roll. There's another roll. There's another roll. You can't shoot him in this mode. Not unless he's buffing himself. There's a roll. B. <laughs> nope. There I go. Right in my ass. <laughs> what? Like he legit waits for the arrow. Oh my god, the fuck healing ability is insane! Bosses with healing abilities is the most pathetic game design I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, seriously, why the fuck give bosses healing abilities? It's my one crutch that they don't have, and you fucking give it to him. He can kill me in one to two, and maybe three strikes. I, it takes me about 80 to 90 hits. But he gets the healing abilities. Yes. Fucking retards. Wow, the fucking tracking beams absolutely fucked me. And now we just run. We just run. Just run. Nope. Nope, you don't get to fight me, dickhead. Piece of fucking shit. You don't get to fight me. Nope. Nope, no fighting for you. Just, yeah, just keep on getting those fucking spells. Keeps on getting him. The hitbox on that. The hitbox along with the tracking on that attack is ridiculous. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, 
Again, no point to attack this phase. No point to attack. It just rolls! Oh my god! No fucking point. Oh lord. I rolled. There's my stored roll. There it is. Yes, more curved sword version. Thank you. It's exactly what I wanted. I wanted more curved sword soul of cinder. Give me more curved sword. Yeah, no, no, don't switch yet. Just keep <laughs> fucking stupid. Swap off. Swap off. Okay, now swap off. Okay, here he comes. Rolls right through it. Again, no point. Can't roll in time. In case you haven't fired a bow before in your entire life. I'll give him credit. He knocks the bow very fast. Olympic level speeds of knocking the bow. Right. Now, here's where the problem comes into play. He fires. But once you release the, the arrow, there's no point to stand still anymore. But the game forces you to stand still for about half or three quarters of a second after firing the arrow. I'm mashing B that whole time. Watch. Fire, mashing B. Hang on. Fire it. That's how long it takes for you to dodge after you fire. The issue isn't how long it takes to knock. It's not how long it takes to pull back. It's not how long it takes to fire. It's the fact that once you fire, your character is still forced into position for like a half a second, which is absolutely insane and utterly fucking pointless. If you're gonna add that time, add the time to the knock or the draw speed. Don't create some unrealistic levels of bullshit that makes it so that I cannot move after I fire the arrow. It makes sense that I can't move while knocking or pulling back. But you create this artificial like recovery time after firing an arrow. You don't need to recover after shooting an arrow. It's not that hard. Once you've fired the arrow, all the effort that you need to put into it is done. There's no more effort you need to put into shooting an arrow once you've once you've loosed it. There's no point. But here you are, as if you're like some sickly child who's on his way out. 
and you need about fit you, you need a fucking breather after every goddamn arrow I was not even in range of that Again, another one, another one, another one, another one, another spin, another spin, Soul Cinder. Please give me more spin. Fucking Beyblade. <laughs> Spin after spin after spin after spin after spin, then another spin and another spin and another spin. <laughs> non stop spinning. Miyazaki hated the concept of ranged builds in this game. Unless you're a fucking sword build, it's over. Not press that button. Why did the fuck did he aim? How the fuck is that fair? Oh my fucking god. <sighs> Can't believe I fucking chose to do this. Everything else has been great. Like I've, I, even though it took me like four or six, whichever one it took four or six hours to beat uh, the Twin Princes, I still enjoyed myself. This boss, I'm fucking ready to be done with this bullshit. Honestly, I'm fucking done. I just want to play near now. recovery time dude it's insane it's crippling
How is that not a dodge, dude? This game is giving me a crippling depression. And I've already got enough to deal with. What a one trick pony. Here comes the best version of Soul Cinder. Makes you wonder why he, I don't know why he doesn't just roll with this for the entire thing if it's so effective. Like he should he should just stick to that with these bullshit spells that fly above his head. Boom. He's all set for life. Can you please get the spells off your goddamn ass? Thank you. How the fuck does that miss? No. Stop, dude. Sweet, the one of the one thing that I can't out damage is healing. The one fucking build of him. I can't get past this is a goddamn what driftwood? I rolled. I don't know why. I don't know why he ran. I rolled. I was mashing the B button, dude. You can cancel your arrow. It's not impossible. It's actually quite easy. God. It's it's not it's it's the constant un like fucking relentless assault of Soul Center that ruins me. He does not settle the fuck down, not once. He is on your ass from the beginning to the end. He is not interested in anything other than your fucking butt cheeks. Like, how does that hit, dude? How does that even hit? Alright, we're resetting.
I don't I don't know what to do. I'm fucking gone. I'm not even on this fucking planet anymore. I'm gone. I'm I've never been more lost in this video game than I am right now. I don't I don't know what more I can do to defeat this guy. I genuinely do not know what more I can do. I'm doing essentially maximum levels of damage. This is as much damage as I could ever do to this boss. I guess he decided to do a double that time, even though it's like a 5% fucking chance. spells. Yes, baby. Once he heals, it's over. The boat can't out damage the heals, unfortunately. Can you f hurry up, you fucking bastard? Thank you. Jesus fucking Christ. The bow can now outperform the massive heals he gets from that stupid garbage fucking ability. I can't believe they would actually give a character with that much health and that much DPS a healing ability. I'm just gonna run at your dumb fucking ass. Uh, whatever. I tried to do a rolling shot, but it didn't come out. setting. No big deal. No big deal. We're just gonna reset. Cause fuck me, right? something real quick. I'm gonna see how much I can break this fucking piss poor video game. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm losing my goddamn mind.
I mean, I've already got, like, no fucking defense. So this armor is really doing absolutely nothing. Um, so I'm going to try something. We're going to... I think I think you get Flynn's Ring from this weirdo over here. Like the naked samurai. Shouldn't be too hard now that I'm like level 75. Why are you shooting? Don't block my arrows, jerk. There you go. Shit, where the hell do you find Flynn's Ring? on the top of a roof at Undead Settlement in the area where you fight the fire demon. Okay. Um, Long equip load increases attack power up to 15%. So we, we'd be doing, like, what's 15 of 171? What's that like? 25 extra damage, some bullshit like that. Like 25, 30 extra damage. Which will stack up, but I'm just basically just trying to turn myself into just doing as much damage as possible because you, you gotta be able to out DPS him, which the bow cannot do without an insane amount of assistance. Um, but we got that, so we can... Um, He doesn't have any things here, right? No. And we can um, take these two off. All right, we're gonna go grab Flynn's ring then. See if that does anything. I highly, highly doubt it, but we'll fucking see, I guess. To search some stupid rooftop, apparently. I can't believe you can still continue this quest.
I'm sure Siegward can take care of this. I have no concerns. He's got this. He's a big boy. A big ol' onion knight. It's at the rooftop, and this is the only rooftop you can access, so... Should be this one? Yep, Flynn's Ring. You're doing great, Sigurd. Jesus Christ. It's gonna take the souls you would normally get. Sup, Sieg. I already killed the dude you're out to kill, so there's no point for your fucking quest anymore. I'm not sure why you're here. And then I guess we'll just bone out. Oh, where the hell is the bone? Oh, no bone. Uh, cool. Uh, so there's no way to bone out. So there's no way for me to keep my souls. Sweet. Oh, wait, hang on. I can just go this way. Kind of a silly item to have hanging out over there. These are all things I can just sell for, uh, for some good money. I hate my fucking life. Jesus Christ. Whatever, I don't care. We're not going for we're not going back for him. We're not doing that. All right. Let's put that on. Bumps up my power by 35, okay. Let's try this out. Hopefully we can make something happen. Doubt it. This is gonna fucking suck either way, so. You spin it, I'm just gonna go here and die.
The damage is pretty good. Comparatively, at least. He's got nothing on his sword, though, but whatever. I've absolutely rolled through that. Absolutely without a question, I rolled right the fuck through that. Oh my god. And there's not any input, there's not like any noticeable input lag. It's really fucking weird. I press B and it happens, but I don't understand when he charges at me and I press B just before he hits me and my, my character doesn't move for jack shit. I swear to god, I'm pressing the fucking button that I need to press. I fought this boss probably. At this point, a hundred total times in my entire fucking career playing Dark Souls. And I've never had this much issue dodging his goddamn attacks in my entire life. You stop walking slightly to, like, thank you. That, that, that fucking, I don't know how they expect you to get through that without, like, half of it being luck. Are you seriously gonna heal, dude? And he busts out this version of himself. Yep, so we just move. I dodged that out of fucking crazy. The recovery time is absolutely horrendous.
You'd think I was shooting some, like, medieval 300-pound fucking war bow. But I'm shooting a little short bow. And he's having trouble after firing it. Like, he's just exhausted every goddamn fiber of his muscle by pulling back the bow once. Because he needs so long just to rest. Oh my god. Alright, at least we are going to be able to get to the second phase. I hope! Second phase time. Oh my god, this bastard. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, what the fuck? He's never once done a follow-up until that point. Now he does a follow-up when he hits me. Now, what has he tried to follow up after that attack? Until it means I'm dead. <laughs> oh, fuck me, dude. Uh, attempt 3,592, uh, two hours and 45 minutes into this stream. <laughs> Yes! Oh man. I miss near. I'm dodging. Fucking help but laugh. Oh man. Oh my fucking god. Oh shit. Once I'm done with this run, I'm fucking not playing Dark Souls 3 for like at least four, five, or six months. I'm fucking done with this video game. I have no interest coming back to this game for a, for a very long time. And I love this game. But this fucking run is making me actually hate one of my favorite games ever made. Kill me. I'm not. I'm not doing anything with that start. 
There you go. <clears throat> that would that start? Yeah, what a pin cushion he is. I press B. Thank you, Miyazaki. Pressing B. Pressing B. He's going to hit. God damn it. How is this hitting me? I'm running. It's never hit me while I was running before. That's a first. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Get out of here with that bullshit. Don't you just love it when you get a boss to spam the same goddamn ability over and over again? I rolled into that. I swear to God, the amount of times I've rolled into that attack and it's connected.
Okay, nothing happened. Um, this is uh, just 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 do what I do, you know. Just play against Soul of Cinder for three hours straight. Uh, definitely not getting tilted or pissed off or irritated at the horrendous mechanics of the bows in this video game. Definitely not getting pissed off about that. No, this boss is totally fair. Hitbox on that sword. Pristine. That's... That's all, you know, that's intentional. Your, um... Meant to take damage there. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I, I was holding forward. But holding forward while dodging actually makes you roll backwards, and that that's all me getting hit while rolling. Um, definitely don't have the max amount of iframes on this character right now. So it certainly couldn't be the game's fault for um, <clears throat> making a bullshit hitbox and a bullshit uh, attack windows for this enemy. Also making it so that, you know, it's a very amazing creative choice to make it so the bows are absolute fucking dog shit. It's respectful and brave. Brave choice. You know, the first word that comes to my mind when I think about their decision with uh, anything other than swords and shields in this game uh, is brave. Um, I certainly would have been this fucking idiotic. I would have at least made the bows um, uh, usable in this fucking video game. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is what we call a uh, GG Go Next. Not sure why the camera's doing that. That's not me. I'm not even on the game. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Okay. <clears throat> Almost three hours. Two hours, 58 minutes in. Uh, I've lost track of the amount of attempts this has taken. I think I'm on like probably like attempt 12, 13, 14, or 15. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. At least for this stream. Um, I'm losing my goddamn fucking mind. Cool. He does the triple. Um, which is impossible to predict which one he does. Uh... Sails right past him. Uh huh. Yeah, that's cool.
They all fired at once, which has never happened before. But um, I respect the career decision behind that. Uh, they've always fired three or four at a time. This time they fired all at once, which has not happened before. Yeah. I don't know how that missed. I don't know how that missed either. I didn't even, I took a really long time to shoot and he still roll dodged, sorry, roll shot. I rolled that. Thank God he stopped before I landed on that. I really genuinely despise this. I hate this more than the curved sword now. Fuck me. Thanks. Thanks, Driftwood.
thank you. That's actually... Oh my god, that's really good to see. The game finally gives me a break for about five nanoseconds. Well, um, uh, very few games have pissed me off more than this, uh, this one has. Um, and, um, Good god, I'm glad I'm fucking done. Oh my god. Alright, let's link the first flame. That's the first ever challenge run I've ever done. Um, it's the first ever challenge run I've ever done my entire life. Uh, well, not technically my entire life, but uh, the first challenge run I've ever done on stream, and also the first challenge run I've ever actually done and completed um, in any Souls Born Ekiro game. Uh, <clears throat> the only other challenge thing I've ever done for myself. Like, I beat Last of Us in part one um, on grounded mode. <laughs> That's, like, the biggest challenge I've ever done for myself in a video game. But uh, this is the first time I've ever done a challenge run I've set for myself with my own limitations, not a special mode created by another developer or anything like that. Um, I've tried in the past to do like a sorcerer build or a pyromancy build. I always gave up pretty shortly on. Like usually around like the um, the swamp crystal sage kind of point, I kind of just gave up. And then, you know, cause, just because I was having fun with it. Uh, this time I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna try this out. Do I regret it? Uh, in some ways. <laughs> Um, but I think overall it was pretty fun. With the ex like, the problem is that the parts I enjoyed I get through so quickly because I can handle them. Um, but the it's a big difference between Lorien and Soul of Cinder for me because uh, it's really not the bosses that's the problem. The bosses are and, and, and I'm you know I'm, I was getting tilted and saying you know bullshit because I was upset and tilted you know that crap. But um. For the most part, the bosses are, are really well designed. Of course, you got issues with, with hitboxes, and yeah, the game's a bit too quick-ish for Dark Souls 3, but not really in a way that makes enough of an impact. Um, 
the main problem is, and I was saying, and I've said this multiple times throughout this throughout this attempt here, and I'm glad I'm finally done with it, uh, is the the game adjusted your shield and sword in an adequate way for to to do combat in Dark Souls Three. Um, because for the most part you can keep up with the accelerated speed of Dark Souls 3 using a sword and shield a bow and I get, I, I get the bow okay I understand the bow may not be intended as a primary weapon to be used it's definitely more useful as a secondary weapon like I said before the only time I ever used a bow in, um, in Dark Souls was like legitimately used a bow in Dark Souls was to um draw aggro from enemies so you could shoot an enemy really far away and then draw them in towards you um, but when you're playing it as your primary weapon it's it's almost unbearably unrealistic as to how your character fires his bow like I said the knock is really quick you know which is not which is necessarily a problem and the draw is fine that's how long it you know you can if you're not trying to do a rapid fire, that's all. That's that's about how hard it is to pull back the bow. And I say this as someone who owns and has used bow and arrows in the, in the past. Um, once you knock it back and you release, you know, you fire it, and it fires off. There is no more recovery after that. Um, There isn't necessarily the a time where you need to fire, let go, and then wait a moment. Because the extent of the amount of time it takes for you have to wait so you can do anything after firing an arrow is the time it takes for the for the string to reach back to its resting point, which takes fractions of a second. Whereas in this game, after you after the after you fire and the bows and the arrows already been loosed into the air, your character is stuck in place for the longest time, and it's insane. So these enemies who are really, really quick, you know, Soul Cinder, you know, Soul Cinder's pretty damn fast. Lorian isn't that fast, you know, but his his hits pack a slightly bigger punch for the most part, unless you get hit by, by a specific volley of attacks from Soul Cinder. Um, Lorian's very easy to manage his speed, especially. Um, which is, I think, why I enjoyed fighting Lorien, even though it took me about the same amount of time it took me to fight Lorien as it took me to defeat Soul of Cinder. In fact, I think it may have actually taken me... I could be wrong, but it, it either took me the same amount of time or maybe even longer to defeat Lorien. And, you know, I... You know, of course, I probably got tilted at that, but I can't remember. Um, but I, I walk away from Lorien really enjoying it, and, you know, if you watch the VOD or if you've seen the stream, when I beat Lorien... I'm just like, oh, yes, thank God. I'm like holding my hand against my face. I'm super happy. And, you know, the full feeling of relief. You know, like the feeling you get when you're playing your first Souls game and you finally beat that boss you've been focusing on for like four hours. Um, just that relief, like, oh, my God, I did it. I finally did it. I finally mastered it, got their moves down, and figured out how to do it. When I beat Soul of Cinder, I don't know if you noticed or not, but I wasn't feeling much of anything. I was ready to be done. Um, just because Soul of Cinder, you really gotta use, un unless you unless you see like um, Dark Souls 3 in one hit, where um, you can uh, knock out all the, uh, <laughs> it's a really funny video, you should really watch it. Just look up Dark Souls 3 in one hit. Fantastic video. Um, where they absolutely annihilate Soul of Cinder with like five soul beams, or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, but for the most part, you know, it's really designed as a sword and shield kind of... I say sword and shield a lot, and I'm sure it's absolutely annoying. Basically, sword combat, close quarters, melee combat, is really where this game excels at, which isn't a problem. The problem is, though, is that it displays these other abilities, these other weapons, these... Um, these other weapons, like the bow, the staff, your pyromancy hand, they kind of sort of display them as pseudo-primary weapons, which is not their purpose. 
Um, basically everything, be it staff, pyromancy hand, talisman, and the bow, are all secondary weapons. The only weapon you can really realistically use as a primary weapon is a melee device, like a dagger, a sword, a great sword, or an ultra great sword, or a short sword. Um, which is why whenever you, you know, no, no one's going to make a sword only challenge run because that's just Dark Souls. Um, but you know, you s sorcery runs, um, pyromancy runs, faith runs. I know, I know, uh, Distortion, Dist, uh, he's a really fun streamer. You should check him out if you like Dark Souls content because he'll do more than I do. Um, also way more popular. Um, but Distortion, I saw he was doing like a, um, lightning arrow only run. <laughs> that's a faith build. Um, bow, bow runs are, are pretty popular challenge runs. Um. Especially glitch, especially glitchless ones, where you know, because because everyone knows that everything sucks in the game, with the exception of melee, which I think is kind of unfortunate. Which I never actually put into perspective until I've actually played this game with this specific challenge run. Um, Because every time I've ever beat Dark Souls, it's been with a melee-based character. I've played tanks, you know, like high vitality, high vigor tanks with high, like basically you put all your all your resources into vitality, health, and strength. And sometimes you might throw some into stamina. And I've also played melee builds that are high dex and high stamina and moderate, you know, vigor. Um, I've played you know all the different ways you can really play a melee build because that's the way that you, you, you want to play the game. Um, so I, I think it's kind of unfortunate that in in at least Dark Souls three, you know, I, I I've seen I've seen Dark Souls like one where spells are really good, and I know in Demon Souls apparently the spells are absolutely ridiculous. Um, as because the speed at which you fire your spells, or you, and I'm not sure about bows honestly, but maybe maybe it's the case. Uh, uh, the enemies in, in Dark Souls One, Dark Souls Two, and Demon Souls are all slower than the enemies in Dark Souls Three, which I've seen as a criticism for Dark Souls Three, which isn't a legitimate criticism in my opinion. It's just fine. I played Dark Souls Three first. I got used to it. Maybe that's why I don't care so much. Um, and I am also a sucker for fast-paced action combat. Um, fa sorry, fast action um, combat. Um, but it doesn't feel like they properly adjusted the spells and the bows for this new pace. It's not a problem to make Dark Souls 3 faster. The problem is that when you don't adjust every aspect of the game to accommodate that change, Whereas they did it with your character, and you, they did it with melee builds, but spells and bows, as compared to melee, can just cannot match the raw damage output. Unless you like you break the game with some, like you know, special. I'm sure there's some way you can absolutely destroy this game's balance through spells but in the end like if you're just playing the game casually let's say it's the first time picking up like dark souls 3 and you go oh, i want to be like a sorcerer bill because that guy looks really cool and then you're you're kind of screwed because eventually um i don't i don't know who said it in my chat but um it was when i was doing my first time playing it they were like um like you either die a bow only or a or sorcerer or live long enough to see yourself become a knight because in the end you know you're just kind of drawn towards swords and which i think is kind of unfortunate i would have i think now playing this diff playing this differently i think i would really appreciate it if they um had adjusted everything accordingly so everything could be viable because i really like taking advantage of all the resources in a video game um 
but you can't really take advantage of all the resources in this game because so much stuff is crap. And I guess that's my one gripe with Dark Souls, which I love Dark Souls. Dark Souls is my favorite franchise uh, series ever made. Um, and I've only recently gotten into it. Like, I, I, I got into it probably like, ah, oh shit, when did Dark Souls 3 come out? Like, 2016? I think I got into Dark Souls in like 2017. So I've only really been into Dark Souls for like three or four years. Um, and it's already enraptured me. I've played all of them except for Demon Souls, and I've played all but I, I've played Sekiro like seven or eight times in a row, and I've played Dark Souls like Dark Souls three like like six times I think on PC, and like three or four times on console with a combined like probably around two hundred hours on Dark Souls three. Uh, I've played Bloodborne through three or four times, gotten all the endings. Um, the only ones I haven't done multiple times is Dark Souls 1 and 2, because honestly, I don't think Dark Souls 1 and 2 are as good as the rest of the ones I mentioned. I know that they kind of kickstarted the whole thing, but Dark Souls 1 and 2 are kind of hard ones for me to get back into, especially 2. Not because 2 is bad or anything like that, just that, there's a lot of shit there, and it's a big commitment to get back into Dark Souls 2. Um, but Dark Souls 1, I just keep on thinking like, oh crap, I have to do that whole second half of the game where it's obvious that they were rushed. Um, but I've loved all of them. But I guess I would have appreciated it if they kind of made more things viable because there's been too many times now where I've been looking up like guides for interesting builds you can make in Dark Souls and they go, oh, don't do, don't use that. It's trash. I'm like, Oh, it's a really cool looking weapon. It's got a fantastic moveset, but it's trash. I mean, how many times have you seen that in Dark Souls where it's this really cool weapon or it's got a decent damage number or... Like the Dancer's Blades, like I mentioned before, my first ever run through Dark Souls, once I got the Dancer's Blade, those are my thing. And I didn't even give a shit that they were garbage. I just loved them because they looked cool. But there's so many weapons in the game that are just, don't use them, even though you really want to. Um, but you're just kind of f forced into like, not necessarily forced, but if you want to like, do the game in an optimized fashion, you're kind of forced into one style of play, unfortunately.